Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this VS Code Pro Tip, I'm going to be showing you a new feature in VS Code, something that I've been using quite a bit myself, and this is the new sidebar in VS Code. Now, why is an extra sidebar cool in VS Code? Well, because you can put anything you want into it just by dragging and dropping, which really kind of opens up the doors for how you like to customize your interfaces in VS Code. Like what if there are certain things like I have source control, right? This is something that I like to use a lot. And I also like to use maybe the problem checking for our entire project a lot, which is in the panel down here, you open up the panel, here's the problems and I don't want them to kind of replace other things I have open all the time, like maybe the Explorer, right? So there's a new way that we can do this in VS Code under the View settings. Under Appearance, you'll see there is a new thing called a Show Side Panel. Now, Show Side Panel is going to open up a blank space into this area. This is brand new into VS Code. In fact, I'm on, let's see which version I'm on. I'm on zero uh i'm on 164 uh 1.64.0 okay so i would say you probably want to be at least at that to get this you can see i even have like a pending update but let's say i wanted to move some things in there such as i like to have not the extensions i like to have the source control specifically so i'm going to drag and just you can now see drag view into the panel to display. I drop it in and it's moved this from our source control tab into the sidebar. And likewise, what I can do is I can pop open my issues and I can drag the problems tab and I can throw this in here as well. And actually I kind of want to put it below, which is fine. My theme doesn't have any lines here. So maybe this is revealing something about my themes that I need to tweak. Uh, but let's check it out here. And we now have all of our problems open right here, which can be a little uh, toggle, just like we're used to having. And all of our source control things here as well. And they're separate scrolly areas. And we now have the ability to click and drag and move things around to be how we want them to be in VS Code. Now, this is such a cool thing to me because, again, it's going to allow me a customizable area. Now, the only bummer is out of the box, you'll notice that under Appearance, Show Side Panel does not have a keyboard shortcut. So I'm the type of person who does like to hide this left sidebar all the time, right? I like to hide that. But... I, I like to do so via keyboard shortcut. I don't like to go to view and whatever. So if you want to have a keyboard shortcut, which is like awesome to do in VS Code to always set up your shortcuts, where are they? Keyboard, manage keyboard shortcuts. And we're just gonna search for side panel, okay? And now you can see toggle side panel is one of the things here. So if we want to add a keyboard shortcut for this, it's going to ask us for the desired keyboard shortcut. In the last video, I mentioned that I use the hyper key, which you can see defaults to control shift alt command. Uh, and I have that mapped to my caps locks key. And since the, the showing and hiding the sidebar on the left side of things is command B, maybe it makes sense to use hyper B for this. I haven't thought about it too much because I haven't done it. Here we go. It looks like the, so control B is showing this and then hyper B is now showing my sidebar. Very cool. Or side panel. Don't call it the sidebar because the sidebar is apparently something else. <laughs> uh, let's see appearance show sidebar. It's side panel, sidebar, side panel, side panel, whatever. So we now have a panel, which is this area down here. And we now have the side panel and you can have either of them. You can drag and drop and move things where you'd like. And you can now set up a nice little keyboard shortcut to show and hide this thing at your will. So this is a quick little VS Code tip. Again, if this is a series that you're into, please leave a comment below. I did one a couple weeks ago on moving and opening and splitting browser tabs in this thing using another thing, another uh, keyboard shortcut. And I mapped it to Hyper S. So go watch that video if you are interested. Either way, a lot of cool stuff. I have a lot of these VS Code tips. I've been working in VS Code for so long now that 
Uh, there's so many little things you do all day that you don't realize that other people may not have seen. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of these things and let me know if you found this to be interesting, exciting, and or whatever. Now, if you're interested in hearing me talk more about code and programming and all sorts of stuff, you could subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And you can become a level up pro at leveluptutorials.com where I do a new tutorial series every single month. That's right. Either myself or a third party content creator that has been handpicked by me uh, creates a course on various web dev topics with the uh, next tutorial course coming this month is going to be on making 3D visualizations, objects and more using Svelte Cubed. Uh, in like 50 lines of code, you're able to get like a little miniature generative art city going. It's pretty unbelievable. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, head on over to leveluptutorials.com or you can click the link in the description of this video and that will take you right there where you can subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.